hello guys you are welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time of being here hello you are welcome to my channel my name is tessie so how are you all doing i hope you all are doing well because i'm doing great so today i have another interesting news for you guys i will just go ahead and read but before i continue if this is the first time you're watching my video or you have been watching without subscribing what are you waiting for in this channel we talk about politics metro news entertainment and all of that and believe me you don't want to miss any of those videos anytime we publish them so please kindly hit on that red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button in that way anytime we upload a new video they will notify you and i pray that the same way you guys are supporting me here in this channel god will definitely send people that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in jesus name amen so without wasting much of your time let's go straight to this news oh see banjo lost his heart like a small boy as the battle for 2023 begins, power play in Asorok gets so far. On the 16th of September 2019, Vice President Professor Yemi Osibanjo presided over the weekly economic management meeting. This was reported by his aide, Lola Akande. It was a routine meeting and it adjoined to meet next week as usual. About an hour later, Gaba Shehu, President Mohammed Buhari's media aide, announced the dissolution of the EMT and its replacement with the Economic Adversary Council, EAC. The vice president, who is the chairman of the constitutionally established National Economic Council, was excluded from the EAC. He was not informed of this decision. By last night, credible rumor emerged that there were there are plans to move the social investment program. Also, statutorily chaired by him to the desk of the new minister for humanitarian affairs. Professor Salami apparently said he was consulted, but only about possible appointment as an advisor to the president. No one told him about the adversary council or about replacing or abolishing the EMT. People who have spoken to Professor Chukuma Soludu say he did not have a clue either. This tactic is not new. They pulled a similar move against the National Livestock Transformation Program, setting up the National Food Security Adversary Council, chaired by Buhari, with the Kebi State Governor as vice. Osibanjo is not on it. They asked Osibanjo to report to it. The council has not met since it was inaugurated. Strategically, this makes sense. What we are witnessing is a grand plot of castrated Osibanjo, whom all the camps Tinibu Kayari must see as their most potent threat in a punitive succession battle to Buhari. If Baba chooses not to go for Tetem bid, they need to render him useless. So everything likely to give him political capital is taken away. NAME and the social investment are doing that when you give hope to the poor, they love you. EMT give him a technocratic calling card with cross-departmental and interagency cloud. The only problem paradoxically is Baba's fierce loyalty. He trusts Osibanjo how Professor stayed lawyer during Baba's head crisis has made him a trusted ally of the president. To date, he still has Baba's ear. Probably the most fascinating aspect for me as a student of politics is the Tinibu one. That he would allegedly sacrifice his own political son for his shot at the presidency. Is a pure Machiavellian maneuver. I do not know whether to applaud or to applaud. As citizens, we sometimes need to look beyond the headline our newspapers are allowed to report. We should all be worried that institutional structures are being weakened and undermined in the pursuit of personal ambition. Anyways, before them invite me for questioning the conspiracy theory. Okay, okay guys, so this article was written by someone to share his own. 
opinion okay now let's let me talk a little on this matter then i will leave you guys to do the rest of the talking at the comment section now before before i think uh, i used to think that uh, this oc banjo is a very intelligent and smart person but the way i'm just looking at this man with his behavior and everything i begin to wonder like what kind of person is this this man is seeing everything like everything is just playing in his own very high life dvd the thing clear finish this man is just playing dump like i don't understand you understand you occupy an office a very important office for that matter and uh, you as the vice president of a country all of a sudden the president changed an office without informing you Without letting you know, in fact, it's not even that maybe they, they dissolve the office and bring another office entirely and put someone else as the chairman and new team. And the best Osibanjo can say is that he has a very good relationship with the president he respects. I don't understand. This man is just behaving as, so, as someone who they use a uh, voodoo on. Maybe all these things they are doing, he's not seeing anyone or, at all. He's just, he's, he's just behaving as someone who they have blindfold or someone who took an oath that no matter what they do, he will not react. He will just remain like that because sometime eh, you begin to imagine a lot of things happening in that uh, in nigeria a lot of things happening in the government uh, that sometimes you begin to uh, wonder if osi banjo is even a christian because the way these people are manipulating this man you begin to he behave as if maybe him being the, ve uh, the the vice president they are doing him a great favor and he's so afraid that he don't want to lose his office he, they're just controlling this man i i don't i don't know the thing is just so annoying thinking that someone they said he's a professor i don't know the kind of professor that he is i don't know because the whole thing is just so confusing he's not he's behaving as if maybe he's not seeing the handwriting on the wall but you can see the pictures everywhere these people want to get rid of this man by all means from the earth and uh, from the aircraft accident to this to that na 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 they are now removing him so uh, from some of the little little offices he occupied the next they would do is to kick him out because they have tried everything by all means to terminate him but it's like god is still standing on uh, 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 beside him you understand god is still backing him uh, up so they are looking for every possible way to kick him out but he is not seeing he's not realizing this thing he's still dancing boy 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 to their tone until the main thing will happen in his own eye in his own very eye before it will not clear so that is it for this video for you guys and uh, i'll just let you guys share your own opinion with me on the comment section i've taken your time more than necessary let me know what you think about this particular news because the thing is actually funny to me uh i don't really understand i don't even know what to say about it leave me your own comment your own opinion on the comment section and with that i will just say thank you so much for watching i really appreciate your support effort love towards this channel and i pray that the good lord will reward you accordingly in jesus name amen so thank you so much for watching this video for today don't forget to like share and subscribe and uh, i will definitely see you guys in my next video remain blessed until i come your way next time bye bye bye